I, I really like the, uh, the concept of the flexible modeling. I see a lot of good ideas there. Uh, and also the, uh, the direct, the Creo Direct. Uh, we have product development stages in R where we get a lot of free form. Guys like to just go in and do whatever and, and it looks like a really good opportunity to use that software. And we were very surprised to see how ingenious the, the, the flexible modeling was solved inside uh, Creo Pro uh, 1.0. Very good. Uh, so absolutely flexible modeling. Um, uh, the, the ribbon interface is very good, uh, which surprised me actually. Uh, I'm, I'm not a ribbon fan, but I think it's been uh, uh, done very well. I was very happy with the stability of uh, uh, Creo Parametric. Um, and uh, uh, the way it worked, the workflow, been done very well. One of the three highlights are the user interface and the fact that it can be customized to fit what we want and what we want to see. Um, the overall quality of the UI and how it makes logical sense of where you need to find functionality. You can easily find it and if you can't, the new search tool that is very intuitive and takes you to where you need to be. Uh, the third and final would be the flexible modeling extension. This I can see having some real value for our company. To be able to have somebody be able to quickly make changes without losing that parametric attributes that are still there and attached, but the person making the changes doesn't need, does not need to worry about those when it comes back to the engineering personnel. They can worry about making sure that those fit the requirements that they want coming off of a couple of projects where we were using legacy data and we wanted to manipulate that data. It was taking a little bit to figure out the structure in which the, the model was put together and then how we are going to be able to change it and it almost came down to rebuild. But with the flex modeling it allows you to, to take geometry and, and move it. The part that I brought, the areas that I was trying to move, manipulate, they worked, so I was pleased to, to see that. This morning we took a look at freestyle, and that's quite intriguing, and I'd say that's a highlight from a couple standpoints. I believe it's a tool that our industrial designers, of which, like I said, I have a background in industrial design, uh, but our designers will, I think they can identify with that tool, and it'll allow them to conceptualize pretty quickly. Also, the data that's outputted is a NURBS-based geometry, so we can actually machine parts um, as where other systems yield a STL-type file, which requires rapid prototyping. The highlights uh, are that uh, it's, it's more functional, and uh, also for new users, uh, the software is uh, easier, easier to use, uh, the user interfa interface is, uh, is better. Um, all the ETC products have now the same user interface, so um, um, yeah, the look and feel is always the same if you're using Madcat Prime or uh, uh, Creo Elements, uh, uh, Creo uh, Parametric or Creo Direct, um, all the look and feel is the same, so that's a big advantage. Uh, interoperability of the product, you can very easily in Creo Parametric uh, import, step or arches files and, and work on yeah, work with them, um, yeah, create new parametric features of bosses or holes in your model and uh, so that's a very big advantage in Creo, uh, Creo 1.0. Also that uh, all the applications, all the Creo apps uh, work uh, together, yeah, it doesn't matter what uh, app you're using, yeah, you can use the, the, uh, the same model um, and work on the model and, and save it without worrying about uh, that you damage your model or that something uh, is lost in the export of, uh, of the model. So that's that, that are very, uh, very big advantages. Uh.